Hey plant gang, we've got Viola X Whitrockiana, the pansy, the common pansy, uh, which is a plant that we plant in the southeastern United States as a flowering winter annual. Uh, typically uh, placed in the landscape when the annuals come out, uh, the pansies will go in and they're added to the garden to add a little bit of color during the winter time. Uh, here it is just at the end of February, the beginning of March. And actually this is a good time for pansies to really be reinvigorated into the garden. Uh, they really do start to bloom again as we have a little bit milder weather. Uh, now for establishment of pansies, uh, September is really one of the best times to do that and then they can grow throughout the winter season. The problem is for us in the southeastern, southeastern United States is our annual plants still look so good in September. Uh, so pansies usually get delayed, put in until even November sometimes. And then they begin to struggle a little bit in the landscape because they didn't have enough time to establish. Uh, but they can look good if established early enough. And then they do start again to come back a little bit as we enter into a little bit milder temperatures at the end of February, beginning of March. Now again, uh, pansies are planted primarily in the southeastern United States as a winter flowering annual. Uh, you can see them grown uh, during the summertime in cooler climates, climates that don't get as hot as it does in the southeastern United States. Uh, really can take full sun to part shade, uh, really needs medium moisture, just getting up about six inches high, spreading out six inches wide. Uh, pansies are short-lived, uh, typically staying quite evergreen, even through the colder parts of the winter. Uh, we're gonna list this as Viola X Whitrockiana, uh, which is known as pansy. Uh, one thing that's interesting about pansies is the flowers are edible and can be used uh, for salad garnishes. If you're in a cooler climate, uh, you may plant this again as a very early spring annual uh, that you plan to flower throughout uh, the spring and the summer. In warmer climates, they tend to be planted in the fall and used as a winter flowering annual. No serious insects or disease problems. They are susceptible to fungal leaf disease, diseases and are also susceptible to uh, predation by slugs and snails. As you ID this plant, the leaves are ovate to elliptical, medium uh, to dark green leaves, just one and a half inches long, and seem to kind of radiate or whirl around the stem. Here's a landscape tip. This genus name comes from the Latin name for various sweet scented flowers.